Hey, 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 Superior Shade fans and other humans, how you doing today? You're uh, looking at my little desktop here, aren't you? Well, I got a new toy, so I thought I would play with it and do something interesting. Okay, so uh, what I am going to do is show you the process of making a picture nice and whited out. So this picture here, I think the scales on this razor, this here's the Sard razor is they are just gorgeous, aren't those things beautiful? You know, if you um, value having um, a bunch of passport stamps and old passports more than you do money in the bank, uh, this little mm, geographic themed scale is is calling your name, isn't it? Used the Thiers Assard factory picture for this one, but we can do better. The resolution isn't very high on that, and it's just sort of, you know, I don't like this uh, whited out part right here. I like it to be bled perfectly white, like you see on um, that one website that dominates planet Earth. So we're going to go in here and um, have some fun. Let's see here. What is that? That is a, uh, which one is that one? That's an 889. Uh, no, Jared, it's a Thiers Assard. It's 1196, 5.8s. Okay, so this is the picture that's up now for the main picture for the skew, and I want to use this one. I didn't quite nail that part. I, um, you know, I have a, uh, a ring light, and I shoot from overhead now. My office is too small to have that uh, giant thingamabob that I used to have. So um, uh, this will be fine once we, once we reduce it to a uh, sensible amount for the internet. So away we go. Now I'll shut up and you can watch me. This is what I do uh, all the time. And um, I've tried many a software uh, to do this. It, it's really hard when you have little details like this. It's very hard to do this without a human brain and a boot on the ground and a, f and a finger and a clicker. So um, you just got to do it is what it comes down to. You got to do it or you got to pay somebody to do it who really knows what they're doing. All righty. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Let's put some dumb music on or something. Doopy doo. And I just sort of talked to myself, and uh, I don't know if. Perhaps we shouldn't have. Uh, can we turn that clicking off? That's not pleasant, is it? No, we need to we need to stop that clicking. Okay, Superior Shea fans, I figured out how to shut that mouse effect up, <laughs> and uh, we are in the old ECDC. So I'm gonna change this little nib down to a six pixel wide and we're gonna do some starting stuff here oh this is just wonderful isn't it oh good dooby doo i should do a scissor with you like a thinning scissor that would be fun wouldn't it okay so as you can see i have my nib as a six i'm filling it and my two colors from the color palette are uh, plain white so you just click like this here and you click ok and then you ask for the fill color to be also plain white and over here in the bottom right, we're going to go like this. And, um, well, do I see a line somewhere? No. Huh. Let's see here. What's going on with that? Oh, it looks like I didn't have pure white as the fill color. Okay, we can't change that. No worries. So here we go. Choosing the fill color. Perfect white. Perfect white. Alrighty. Even with this, I have a microphone that's like five inches from my face. And uh, I could still hear in the background on these monitor headphones my incredibly noxious neighbor that never shuts the hell up. You can see this uh, transition of the light on the edge of the tang is ever so slightly greenish. That might have been chromatic aberration from the lens, or it could be some sort of reflection in my office because the tenant before was a um, somebody who did facials, and they have a, a greenish theme on these walls. That might be some stray light, it's, even though the ring light is like five inches from this razor when I made this picture. Okay, I'm going to get a real 
little close and now I go use my hand tool. This part's fun. Fix might be a little too long. Well, we can clean that up with some curves later. It's sort of relaxing. It's like uh, doing puzzles, except I'm terrible at puzzles, but I like this puzzle. Um, I just wish it didn't take so damn long. Like when you have a thinning scissor or something with a whole lot of details, uh, it can take 20, 30 minutes to do it. The only company I've ever paid to outsource this that did a decent job was called clippingbees.com. Uh, and you have to mail them. You, you make an account and then you upload the picture and show it to them. And then they'll make you a quote per one, which is very usually for my kind of images was in the five to nine dollar range per. But, uh, and that can get expensive after a while. You just gotta like, uh, you gotta embrace the grind, you know? So when you want to complete these little, did you ever play that video game Kicks? You know, with the little uh, thing that's going in there. Very early 80s video game. When you complete a little square, you just double, you um, you would uh, double click, but I have Roller Mouse, which is from Contour Pro, and uh, Roller Mouse has a special button for a double click, so I just push that. I'm hearing the PC processors going, oh no, a bunch of information is coming at me. You know, I watch these videos online, people showing their screen all the time. How much resolution going to be? I better move my ass here. Okay. We're going to get done quickly. Okay, let's see here. Oh, did you see that? Oh no. Oh, you want some of this? Come get some then. All right, let's go back out and see. Yeah, that line looks acceptable. Alrighty, let's go in and... Oh look, this is nice. I uh, so that making that squiggle to show that it's got ridges on the tang. That's gonna be a tough one. Uh, let's just start here. Okay, now that I'm looking uh, right over here, I can kind of see that. I think it's chromatic aberration from the lens. I don't think that it's uh, green reflections from the wall paint that's making that little green edge on there. I do have one lens that's really tremendously chromatic aberration free. But um, it is for my large format camera. And um, now that I don't have the camera stand, I can't use the large format camera to do copy stand work, which is what this is, where you're shooting straight down to the floor and your subject is pointing straight at the ceiling. Um, it's too heavy. And uh, you, you can't, you can't handhold with the large format camera. It's actually... A, um, an Arca Swiss M line two, and then I use a, a digital a digital back, a sliding digital back from 2005, and the lens is a um, Sch Schneider 80 millimeter macro Simar. That thing doesn't have any blue whatsoever. It's the cleanest, most amazing thing up close. Um, but because you're image capture area is 36 by 48 millimeters. When you're working in close, you have to do a lot of corrections as far as the view camera stuff. And so um, I kind of just keep it for uh, straight ahead, real easy ones. It's a little bit too difficult to work with, too slow. But if I would have busted it out, and uh, use my C-stands to get light directly on in opposition to the face of this razor and uh, shot straight ahead, I could always just do what we're doing now to the background and the scales, for example, they would look cleaner. The steel would look more perfectly 
steel color without these little bluish green edges here and there. But I have suffered as a businessman for putting too much resolution on the website. So I have learned that uh, Google, who's the new deity now for the success or failure of your business, they don't like it when there's those pixels that are so big. Like, you know, you can't have 4,000 plus pixels anymore. You just can't. So now I'm down to 2,560 by 2,357 is the maximum field I will give you for any image on uh, old posterior shave. Maybe if I make another HTML site uh, with those, you can just make a giant link and uh, you uh, pixel peepers with nothing better to do like me, you can have your way because I can just link it to a uh, an HTML file that launches when you click on the picture. For another day, I don't really want to have another site that I have to maintain the inventory of two different things and rectify when one sells versus the other and so forth. But um, if you want to be all things to all people, I think you kind of have to do that. So sooner or later, I'm going to bite that bullet. And I got just the name for it. And I'll give you a hint. No, I will not give you a hint. I don't want some squatter taking it. Okay, yeah, I did a pretty good job over there with those little ridge thingy bajiggers. Okay, let's see here. So this is the line we're looking for, not this little chromatic aberration spot. This will be the dem, dem uh, uh, the border, whatever that other word was. <laughs> and uh, oh, we got a nice one there. Okay, let's go back out and let's do some play in the kicks video game. But you don't get to pass the level when you get to 70% and on this one. This one you got to be 100%, otherwise your eye just goes straight to that shit. Alrighty then, and... Oh, can I get rid of this little bump here? Because that's going to stay in the picture. I would like to... Let's see if I can... Let's do the white part first, and then we'll get to that, okay? Boy, this is exciting stuff, isn't it? Okay, we're doing a good job, guys. Thanks for your support. Okay, this is a Sears Assard 5 8 extra hollow ground. With a round head. Not very round, to be honest with you. The German way of uh, making the round head makes this part right here, this part, actually nice and rounded. And there's, you know, it just kind of like fades away. This one has sort of an abrupt turn. So um, uh, there's no need to buy the uh, Spanish head razors from them, other than the looks, because their round head functionally as far as like making a line on your face with a goatee or whatever I don't think it offers any limitation the only thing that the square or Spanish head does versus the current style of making a crisp termination that Sears Assard prefers is give you a visual thing to line up your stuff with okay that's not bad let's see here what does our eye grab Okay, I could still see that little dot. Maybe clean up that corner a little bit, and then we just got a little bit of work here. And then we're gonna put our watermarks on, reduce our resolution. We're gonna, you guys are gonna get to see the whole thing. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, my poor processor. I hope this video uh, doesn't. Uh, Break the old, uh, old thing that gets hot inside there. Okay, that's pretty good. Anything grab your eye down there? Any irregular lines? It's acceptable. Once we reduce that resolution, it's going to be pretty good. Okay, I think I would like a little uh, cleanup over there. We're going to go switch to our curve. And our nib is 12 inches, and you just draw the curve, and you hold your mouse in the left, and then when you take your finger off the left part of the clicker, then you can move it, and then you right-click to set it. So you draw it with the left click down, and then you put a little thingamajigger on there, and then you click.
click it. Okay, and we're just looking for uh, irregularity. Alrighty, and you don't want to make it too too tight. Then it's gonna look unusual. Okay, let's see here. Boy, it'd be nice to fill that in. That's not an easy one to do. Let's see if old Jared can do that. Okay, boy, I suck at this, don't I? That's brutal. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then, uh, okay, we're going to get to that thingamajigger. Spine looks good. Yeah, let's just, uh, how about just a little bit of a curve right there? Well, I better, uh, I better curtail this video, huh? I better stop this one and give it a chance to breathe, otherwise that file's going to get too damn big. All right, so let's finish this part off, and then we're going to, um, We'll come back to the uh, the cleanup and the moving the axis of the razor relative to the format of the picture and all that. Okay. Did I do a good job? Let's see here. Not bad, right? Okay. All right. So we're gonna save him, and then I'm gonna stop this video. Okay, we're back, Superior Shave fans. Uh, let's see here. We're going to put some more border on there so that we can make sure that we uh, do not run out of space when we move it around. And now, let's go rotate it. So we're going to go to over to a little panel here where it says geometry, and we're going to rotate, and you have this little thing here that you go like this, and you can do like that. So I like it to be pretty straight up and down. And I use that little graph to try to watch where the tang is versus the scale. So first I'm going to put the bottom of the tang and the bottom of the scale about what my eyeball sees the same. And then I kind of like look at it and say, okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click done. And then let's, um, we're going to go to the cropper. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go to the thing that says crop. And the aspect ratio is 278 over 256. And uh, we're just going to draw the tightest rectangle we can get around here. Let's see. We can get a little tighter than that, can't we? Alrighty. And then... This is okay. This is okay. All right. That'll be good enough. And now we want, when we go up and down, I like a little bit, like one, a little bit. See how it's divided in thirds with this graph? I like a little bit of the tang up there and a little bit of the monkey tail down there. So that's about perfect. And we're going to push done. And then now I'm going to resize it. I'm going to resize it to 2,357 vertical. And it says 2,556 wide. I'm very anal, as you know, so I want it to be 2,560 precisely. So now I'm going to go over to borders and go to horizontal, but it's defaulting to blue. So I'm going to change that to white. And then we're going to go back and crop it again. And then we're going to do uh, 2,560. 2560-2357. Okay, there we go. Oh, is that right? Okay, that's so funny. Okay, now we're going to go um, in nice and tight here, and we're just going to clean up that little spot. So let's get really, really tight. And let me go use my hand to get close to it, and then I'm going to go to, uh, where is it, repair tool. Repair, repair tool. And so you have a little nib here. Over here, you can change the size of your nib, and then you can change the size of the feathering zone, which is where it sort of halfway covers, halfway copies that which is nearby. So we want a tight feather and a small nib. We want that nib as close to the size of that mole as we can get. Is that as close as we can get? Well, let's get in a little closer, Jared. We're going to get in really, really close. Okay, well, well let's, we need to um, use the hand and get him in the middle, and now to the repair tool. Okay, so you can see the border. Yeah, this is a tough one. So you click you click the right to establish a, an area to copy, and then you click the left to use that and put it down. So I've only got a nib of, 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 uh, of, three, pick, of three. That's the lowest it goes. Okay, so we're going to go from this. Uh, I still see some crap. Let's see if we can do a one. Oh, okay, what about a two then? I'll make that feathering smaller. Okay, we're going to try to... And there's a little bit of a blackness there. Okay, now let's back out again and see if our eyeball catches anything. That looks pretty good. All right. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect right now we're going to go to the watermark so i like to put a little theater um made in france thing here and then i go like this here and then i'm gonna make it about like uh aligned with just just a little like about a centimeter past the left of the tang there like this okay and the next one is going to be um uh, the posterior shape one and then we're gonna um make that thing as small as possible and we're going we're gonna fit it in there don't you worry okay let's scooch it in there let's do a little scooch in here okay this is fun right okay there we go and um yeah we're in there it's in oh my god it's in okay done save uh and now um to make the part that says uh five eighths okay so let's go to the where it says text we're gonna put five eighths let's see how big it is i have the more modern version of acdc which can make an even bigger chunk of text but it, that thing is a more complicated than it needs to be for a lot of stuff so i still like using this older one which is uh what are we using here this is acdc ultimate uh 10 i think let's see yeah i would prefer that to be a little bit bigger so we're going to get out of here and uh, we're going to go launch the other ACDC. So that was Pro 10 64-bit that I'm using, but I'll use the Ultimate 2021, which has some some cool tricks. Definitely the text is the coolest trick that it's got. They, but they're always updating it. Me and ACDC have been best friends for like uh, 12 years now. No, no, no. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, first we got to get back into the image. Okay, so it was a... Uh, it was a basic uh, 1196, and it's 5 eighths, and it's got the compost L. So let's ask for that. We're going to edit it. And then uh, it, it, this works as a layer. So you can go Google what the hell that is. I don't feel like explaining. So we're going to make a bigger one, and then we're going to, uh, yeah, I like using Arial. And uh, you can change the size later. So first let's write 5 eighths, 5 divided by 8 on this thing. And then you use this to make it bigger or smaller. So about like this. And you could also, if you wanted to, you can drag the text where it goes, like this. And you can rotate it. Let's, let's discard that. Because we don't want to get back in there. Okay, we're just going to do pretty big, but not as, not as uh, big as you just saw. Okay. Come on, people. A little smaller than that. That's pretty good. And put it like uh, down there. Lovely. Okay. Save as. It, it makes now you got to compress the file, and uh, I got to name it something else briefly. So I'm just gonna put it as the fifth version of that picture, and then I'm gonna go. Yes, I wanted to flatten that thing there. Okay. And then we're gonna go back into the manage area. Okay. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna get rid of him and just rename him number one. Do, 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 do. Push refresh. Lovely. Okay, we're in. Now let's go uh, to the old uh, the old uh, administration panel. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. All right, and then we got to add that one. These are all the new images I've been working on. We didn't add that one, so um, let's. Uh, okay, let's get in there this way. And then we're going to do like this here. And we're going to do this. Okay, and I should probably go ahead and put all the uh, verbal details on it, right? Let's see here. So, fears, SR, ESO, uh, 1196, compostel, made in France. we're going to copy that and put it as the title okay and it's saved and now we got to go find that piece so i'm going to go to the old thing here and write compost l because only a couple of things are going to come up for that i believe they have to be in the title and uh there it is we got uh, two pieces listed at 256 dollars what a ripoff man they're killing you on that handle uh yeah they they used to sell a long time ago. Sears sold uh, Sard sold scales alone, and then they got too proud, and they're like, "No, you want these cool scales? Buy a razor with it, or, or pound some sand." I'm like, "Yes, I love it when you guys are dicks like that." 
Okay, and we go like this. All right, and then we're going to set that. And uh, before we do, let's do a little before and after action here. Okay, so let's see here. Compost. And we got the search results. Okay, this was the one I did from, oh boy, the white balance is terrible on that one. Yeah, we can fix that later. So there's is good. It's just, it's just too small. And now we're going to do better. So now we're going to um, update it. And it's done. Okay, and now when I push F5 here, Control F5, you're going to see this one go to the new picture. There you go. Hey, not bad, right? This one could be a lot better, shouldn't it? Okay, well, a fight for another day. It never ends. Hey, thanks for watching, Superior Shea fans, and uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and um, can't we all be happy today for uh, a, good, a good verdict in the American justice system? Bye-bye.